Welcome back to Cooking for Two 101. Today we're making steak bites in the air fryer. You won't believe how easy it is and stay tuned till the end. You can see all the amazing sauces you can use. So I have a beautiful ribeye. It is an inch and a half thick. Look how big this is. I'm so excited. Uh, it does have some marbling and it has some fat here on the edges, which I'm going to trim away and give to the dog. He's just going to be so excited about it. But um, I want to eat this ribeye and we want to make it fast. So we're going to do, like I said, steak bites in the air fryer. So I'm just going to cut these into cubes. I'm going to start by making strips. And then when that's done, I'm going to turn them sideways and cut them in half again. So we have three quarter of an inch thick strips. Uh, sorry, cubes. <laughs> and math is hard, but that's because I'm doing it that way because that's how thick the steak is. All right, I'm going to trim this up, get them all cut up, and we'll be right back. All right, here's our beautiful ribeye squares, or soon-to-be delicious steak bites. And I'm going to um, just put a little bit of, uh, this is uh, grapeseed oil. You could use avocado oil or um, vegetable oil. Anything that um, can handle the heat, 400 degrees is what we're going to cook it at. I'm also going to sprinkle on a nice healthy pinch of salt and some fresh ground black pepper and a little bit of Worcestershire. And we're going to toss this around a bit and it is going to marinate for about 15-20 minutes. But I'll be honest, if you're super hungry, you could just do it in about 10. Okay, spend 10 minutes. We're going to put it in the air fryer. We're going to cook it at 400 degrees. Uh, you don't have to preheat your air fryer. Um, at least I never do. I guess you could if you want to. Uh, we want to make sure that they have lots of space in between the pieces of meat. You do not want them touching, otherwise you're going to steam it. That's not the plan. Okay, so we're going to cook it for five minutes to start with, then we're going to check it. Um, I have a meat thermometer. I like mine about medium rare. Uh, once you check the temperature, if it's not quite done to your liking, you can cook it a little more, a couple more minutes at a time. But once you go 10 minutes, you can't go backwards if it's overdone. So do it in little couple minute increments until it's the right temperature. Okay, spend five minutes. We're gonna give it a test. Medium rare is 130 degrees. Let's stick my little thermometer in there. Ooh, that one's done. Let's check another one. 127. So I'm actually gonna put them in for another minute, maybe two, get them a little bit more brown. All right, let's check it out. I'll take one out, cut it open, see how it looks. Oh, it's perfect, medium rare. All right, I'm gonna pull them out onto this plate and let them rest. Okay, let's talk about sauce, baby. There are so many choices. I'm just gonna make, well, I'm not gonna make one, but I'm gonna show you four. Uh, this is two tablespoons of sour cream. This is horse, creamed horseradish. I'm just gonna put a little dab in here. If you haven't used this before, start small. <laughs> Work your way up. It's a little bit spicy, but it's so good with prime rib. A little, little tiny dash of Worcestershire. Mix it all together. Believe me, when you have this on a steak bite, you're gonna think you've gone to heaven. You're welcome. We are also going to talk about garlic butter. Everybody puts garlic butter on their steak bites and they're delicious. That's why they do it. I have here a uh, quarter of a stick of butter and about a teaspoon of minced garlic. If I had fresh parsley, I would put that in, but I don't. So I'm just going to add a little bit from this organic parsley tube, which is awesome in the wintertime if you don't have fresh parsley growing. I'm going to mix it together. Voila! garlic butter. You can also pour this over the teeny tiny potatoes. They're delicious. Um, you can dip your bread in it. Also yummy. We also have, for fun, some homemade teriyaki sauce. I made this one. You can use one from a jar. No big deal. I'm going to garnish it though with some diced up scallions and some sesame seeds. You put this on your steak bites, it's going to be amazing. And let's not forget our good friend A1. It's really good. Other options include ranch dip, sriracha, salsa, barbecue sauce. 
it's endless what you can do. Okay, I'm going to try my two favorite of these. I know what that tastes like. It's delicious. But I want to try the horseradish cream sauce. Let's put a little bit on my piece of steak. My steak bite is what I mean. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's perfectly cooked. It didn't take any time at all. It's tender. That cream sauce it has a nice kick to it. The Worcestershire that I put on the steak bites before we cooked them, it's coming right through, making the steak, steak taste amazing. Mmm. And then I also want to try the garlic butter. Sorry, John. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's heavenly. Okay. I hope that you find one of these four sauces are perfect for you. Or try them all, like we did. Super easy. Thank you for watching Cooking for Two 101. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with your friends, try some steak bites. They're delicious. See you soon.